Uh, they can look me up on Facebook and they can message me, Margie, M-A-R-G-I-E. Last name is N as in Nancy, W-O-K-O. So I am on Facebook and they can message me as well because that's how she was able to find me. Amen. Now I just want to ask you a question. Now this this here is uh, about your name, your last name, Woko. Um, yes. Is that what 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 language is that from? <laughs> Actually, it's a. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, it's a a Nigerian name. My okay. husband is a Nigerian. He's a Igbo man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I've been married for over, coming up on 27 years. Wow. So do you go back over to Nigeria and minister as well? Actually, I just got back from there, and the Lord gave me a mandate when I was in the air, over 38,000 feet in the air, and he told me to minister and teach everyone over there who was interested how to worship with flags. And I received that mandate. And they they received it, and I'm telling you, it was the best experience I ever had in my life. The little children, yeah. the glory of God was on these children. God said when, when you're ready to teach, the students will show up, and the teacher is ready to teach. And these children, oh, my gosh, they received, they received the presence of God. They learned how to worship. I posted it all online, and people was like, just really blessed by it. They blessed me. They blessed me because the children here in America is totally different. These children here in America, they got everything, and they still don't have nothing. These kids have nothing in Africa, and they have everything. Everything. And they have God. So I was able to go over there and to serve. The Lord said it wasn't about me being served, but I was to go and serve. So I went and served, and hot and all, and I'm telling you, I came back strengthened and encouraged just out of obedience. I could feel that, too. I could feel it <laughs> as you were saying it. Oh, my God. Yes. All right. It's even, All right. I mean, All right. to see it, if you even seen the pictures, the pictures alone will bless you. And I'm going to tell you this one thing that happened. The Lord told me to, to teach the children and the adults. He First, I thought he was just saying children. He said, no, the adults is where as well. So two days before I left, no adult came, though I could tell they was interested. Mm -hmm. So when I did the overview that Sunday at church, I went back home to the village and was sitting out front. And this lady came and I did not recognize her. And she introduced herself. She said, I'm the first lady. Um, I was at church. I was like, oh, okay. You know, I didn't recognize her because of her clothes. And she told me that she wanted to learn how to worship with flags. And she apologized for not coming, that she was so busy. But she said, I must learn how to do this thing. And the Lord told me to tell her, because I had no more flags to give out, to use what is in your hand to worship. She had her baby on her back with a wrapper tied around her. I said, use your wrapper and worship. Mm. This mother took the wrapper off put her baby down and begin to worship. And this full expression of God was all over this woman worshiping. You could see the joy in her face. You could hear the laughter in her voice. And God said, that is the presence of God. Because he said, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there is pleasures forevermore. So you actually felt it all over this woman. And I have a videotape. She was laughing. She was giggling. She was throwing her wrap up. She was using what was in her hand. So whatever is in your hand in this season, even at this conference, God is calling for the women to use that. Amen. Amen. So whatever is in your hand, you use. Your tool that you're using right now is on this radio station. You use that power. Amen, amen. Because that's a, that's a voice. That's a voice. That's the spoken word. And in the beginning was the word, and the word was God himself. And it's a amen. voice. Oh, wow. I'm just kind of speechless. I did. <laughs> this has been so good. This has been so good. And, you know, you just confirmed, you know, um, 
I was praying the other night, and I was like, Lord, wait, you know, I don't have this, you know, I don't have that, and you, you know how it is. We, we don't have everything that we want to have, but God mm-hmm. has already supplied us, supplied us with everything that we need to have. So when you said that, that just confirms what He was already saying. You already have it. Use what you already you, have. Use and when what I, you already. Go ahead. That's it. When I started using what I already had, Mm because I do graphic designing and stuff, he started putting all this stuff in my path where I could do the work a lot easier than how I had been doing it. And I was like, wow. It was just amazing. And you continue to receive that deposit. And I'm going to let you know this also. God will meet your needs according to his his riches and glory. Because I was recently praying about a situation, and God sent someone to me and told me that they would make me an ambassador of their company. And that simply means he will take care of your needs. So if there's anything that you need, it's already taken care of. He said, don't worry about what you're going to eat or drink. And an ambassador is, you know, Christ, he didn't have no money. People took care of him. He yes. was fed. He didn't worry for anything. And for somebody to tell you that, basically the lady is saying, you don't even have to pay for your merchandise because you're an ambassador of my company. So God wow. said you will have what you need. <laughs> that is amazing. Yes, All right, so, guys. Okay, we just got to continue to trust him. Continue to trust That's him. It. Now, I need to get this radio station, too. I don't know if that was in my email so I can listen to it myself. We will make sure that you get a link, um, me and Minister Tara. I'll get it to Minister Tara, and she will make sure that you get a link. God bless her. She works with Apostle Vera Howard, and they both have been just awesome at, you know, keeping me going. So I appreciate, I appreciate both of them, and I tell you, they are great women of God, and they do exactly what they say they're going to do, and they do move in season, and I love that. And um, that that was uh, part of the reason of um, how I got into my prayer life because when I first met them, I was praying, but I was mm-hmm. at a certain level. I was at a level of you know, sometimes we get rebellious in prayer and stubborn, and we don't want to mm-hmm. learn everything that comes along with it. But when mm-hmm. I got with them, I mean, it just opened up the door for God to just use me in so many ways. So I am very thankful and humbled for them uh, coming Amen. into my life. Yes, and we'll make sure that you get a link. And, and I'm going to send you a prayer request because I got chills when you first said Nigeria. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I got to see that. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. You will enjoy it. So, yes, uh, give me your information. I'll make sure you get it because it will bless you. It blesses me every time I see it. Amen. I will, I'll send you a friend request. Okay. That way I okay. can put it on your page. All right. Absolutely. So so did you give out your booking info? I got so excited I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did, but I will repeat it. They can look me up okay. on Facebook under Margie, M-A-R-G-I-E. Last name is Woko, as in as in Nancy, W-O-K-O. And they can message me as well. Okay. Okay, y'all. So if y'all want to hear more from um, – a disanointed great woman of God, prosthetic dancer, then you need to come on to the Women Warriors on the Front Line Conference hosted by Apostle Vera Howard. It will be March the 8th through the 9th. And Friday it will start at 7 p.m. Saturday it will be 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Hilton Garden Inn, 7810 Walker Drive, Greenbelt, Merlin. For more information, you can always call 910-977-1674 or 910-644-1824. Registration fee is $25 per day, or you could just pay your straight out $50. If you can't attend the conference, then buy a, um, buy a registration fee for somebody else. You know, be a blessing. If you can't attend... Pay for someone else to come. Sponsor a young lady or an older woman that you think really needs this conference in her life because prayer is our connection to God. It's our connection to the kingdom of God. And we have to stay prayed up in a day and time like this. 
All right. So do you have any last um, words that you would like to say to um, leave some encouragement for people who may be, you know, not sure of their calling? I say seek the Lord. He'll let you know. Just have a heart open to him. We have four chambers in our heart, and a lot of times our heart is not fully open unto the Lord. So I would say open your four chambers and let the Lord flow through and he will give you all the instructions that you need. No more, no longer being closed in this season. Amen. You heard it. No longer being closed in this season. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will be sending you that free request. <laughs> all right. Thank you. God bless you. God bless. Uh-huh. Bye-bye.